How to care for Persian cats. With their doll-like faces and large eyes, gentle disposition and amiable personalities, Persian cats are a popular breed to own. Like with all pets, having a Persian cat as a companion comes with its own set of responsibilities. From coat care to health issues, there are many things to consider when caring for a Persian cat. Method 1. Caring for your cat's coat. Step 1. Start brushing your cat's frat in young age. To make sure that your Persian accepts being brushed a lot, you will have to start brushing her at an early age. From day one, make a point of brushing your kitten so that she gets used to this experience. If you don't start brushing her at an early age, she may develop a dislike for being brushed that can ultimately make it much harder to maintain her coat. Step 2. Get a great comb that works well on Persian fur. You will need a metal comb that has narrow teeth on one end and wide spaced teeth on the other end to properly detangle your cat's long fur. A metal slicker type brush can also be good for removing excess fur that has a tendency to become tangled. Step 3. Learn the proper way to brush your Persian's fur. One common mistake owners is brushing over the outer surface of the coat without getting down to the hair roots. Think of brushing your cat in terms of combing your own hair, you need to part the fur and comb knots out from the roots, working tangles free on your way to the hair tip. This mentality can also be applied to your cat. As with your own hair, it is most effective, and comfortable for the cat, if you brush in the direction that the fur grows. The proper combing process involves. Step 4. Brush your cat's fur every day so that she stays healthy. While it might not seem like brushing fur is that big of a deal, a Persian's luxuriously long fur can become a problem really quickly. When your cat's fur gets tangled, it becomes matted. Step 5. See a professional groomer. Your cat's fur might become matted for a variety of reasons. It might be from a lack of brushing. If cats get overweight or older and less healthy, they can also become less efficient in self-grooming and less able to take care of themselves. This can lead to tangled and matted fur. Method 2. Helping your cat with breathing issues. Step 1. Understand the term brassophallic. Persians are brassophallic, which is a term that means their nose and nasal chambers are foreshortened when compared to normal cats. It is part of the breed description of pedigree Persians that in profile the nose button does not protrude past the level of the eyes. Step 2. Keep your cat's nose clean. The best way to help your cat fight off respiratory infections is by keeping her nose clean. Making sure your cat's nose is clean is very important because your Persian's shortened nose can become blocked easily, making it difficult for your cat to breathe. You can use a warm, wet cloth to wipe your cat's nose and make sure that it is cleaned out. Step 3. Get your cat vaccinated regularly. Persians are prone to respiratory infections because they do not have as much protection against pathogens due to their stubby noses. Cats normally have an extra defensive layer in their noses that help keep bacteria and other pathogens out, but Persians lack this extra defense. Because of this, it is important to take your cat to the vet to get regular booster vaccinations against cat flu. Method 3. Caring for your cat's eyes. Step 1. Be aware that Persians can have eye problems because of how their faces are structured. Part of the appeal of Persians is their round, flat faces and large eyes. Sadly, the features that make them so attractive can also cause problems. All cats produce tear fluid that serves to keep the surface of the eye moist and their corneas healthy. This fluid should drain away via paired tear ducts in each eye. Sadly, your Persian's truncated nose means these ducts are kinked and can no longer drain effectively. Step 2. Wipe away your cat's excess tears. The best way to help your cat is to simply wipe away the excess tears that have a tendency to stain Persian fur and irritate their faces. If you notice that your cat has excess eye fluid on her face, use a cloth or paper towel to wipe up the excess fluid. Step 3. Understand why Persian cat eye fluid turns brown. You may be wondering why the fluid that leaks out of your cat's eyes turn brown. The reason is that chemicals called porphyrins are found in the tear fluid and when the chemicals are exposed to the air, 
These porphyrins oxidize and turn a brown rust color. Method 4. Dealing with Persian-related health conditions. Step 1. Be alert for any signs of illness. While Persians have been bred for their unique looks, this same breeding has also led them to become predisposed to certain diseases. While there is nothing you can do to prevent your cat from getting the disease if she is genetically prone, you can watch for signs of these diseases and have your cat treated as soon as she develops the condition. Step 2. Watch out for polycystic kidney disease, PKD. This genetic fault affects one in three Persian cats and results in the formation of multiple fluid-filled cysts within the kidney that can lead to renal disease. Once the problem I identified your pet's lifespan can be extended by prescription renal diets and medications such as ACE inhibitors which can aid the filtering capacity of the kidneys. Step 3. Look for symptoms of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, heart disease. This disease causes the heart wall to become thickened which then impairs the heart's ability to pump blood around the body. Luckily, there are drugs such as diuretics and ACE inhibitors that can decrease the workload on the heart and increase longevity. Step 4. Pay attention to signs of progressive retinal atrophy, PRA. PRA is a genetically programmed thinning of the retina that eventually leads to blindness. Whilst it sounds distressing, cats are actually very good at compensating for blindness. They are adept at using their whiskers, sense of smell, and hearing to move around. If your cat does go blind, it is generally best to keep her indoors and avoid rearranging the furniture, as she could become disoriented. For more videos please subscribe our channel.